for this week's edition of the Q&A with S. Chablis and this week we've got two questions. When well, one question and a comment that probably requires um, an answer. So, the question is from Pierre. We do have a natural cellar that keeps wines at 14 degrees Celsius, which is a touch too high, touch too warm. We are going to invest into one of those cellar fridges but, in the meantime, between a fridge, ice bags, ice cubes, well, rock height ice cubes, or other equipments, what would you recommend? What is the best method to cool down wine? Well, Pierre, first thing is, with a cellar at 14 degrees, that's beautiful for keeping wine. If it's steady all year long, that's, that's very good. But I understand that to serve white wines and to serve the wines of Chablis, it might be a bit too warm, especially for a Petit Chablis or Chablis. A premier cru de Grand Cru, I would say it's safe. So for a Petit Chablis and a Chablis, what way could you use? Well, everything you said sounds good. Uh, you could put the bottle in the fridge, not for too long. You can use a ice bucket and then put the bottle inside. You can use stone ice cubes. Just be careful, I've noticed, because I use them here not for wine, for whiskey, and I've noticed that if you're not careful, they might take a bit of a taste of the fridge. So I'm just careful now, and I put them into a closed box. And the gadget, and I put the description of the gadget in the comment you use, which is basically uh, something to pour the wine and a high stick. Should work, might work. I feel it's a good idea. I mean, innovation is good. So anything goes. The only thing I would strongly not recommend is using ice cubes and I know it's basically some kind of a trend right now and you see plenty of pictures and blogs and people with ice cubes in their in their wine champagne and rosé and whites and I don't like that <laughs> for for another reason I don't like this method it's probably very efficient to cool down the drink but it's gonna dilute the wine so any reasonable method is going to be okay as long as you don't dilute the wine. And that's my personal opinion. Now, there's a new tool, uh, a new technique, an innovation, and you can check that out on the Unbox Therapy on YouTube. And it's done a review of that, and I'll put a link of that review. And it's called the Cooper Cooler Rapid Chiller. And it's, a, it's actually a beautiful machine, and you put some ice cubes inside the machine, you put some water inside the machine, and then you put your bottle. And the bottle is going to spin and the water is going to be poured onto uh, the bottle of wine. It seems like it's working. I know uh, the guy who's running the YouTube channel tried it with soda and it worked. So I don't see why it wouldn't work. Again, check out his video. I'll put a link in the description. By the way, I don't receive money to do that. It's just me talking about things I found interesting for you. Second question, the second comment. You do have a cool apron. Well, thank you. And it wasn't Peter, it was Peggy in England. Thank you, let's, that's my apron. A bit different from your usual apron. A bit more expensive too. Still, no big deal because that's actually quite tough and actually the more you wash it, the cooler it gets. So that's a plus. And the people who made that, are actually the girl who makes that for me, is called Tanya and she works at thebluntroll.com. Again, not to plug, I'm just, you know, stating because you gave me a comment and if you want one of those, you've got to go on that website and you've got plenty of cool stuff, standard ones and very elaborate ones. You can have them personalized, this one is not, it's not the standard version, it's a bit more elaborate. Still, you can put your, I mean, you can put everything, corkscrews and napkins and, and stuff so you can serve all day long without any problem. So again, the bluntroll.com, uh, beautiful site, and they do ship everywhere, which is cool. Plus, Tanya is very nice, and she's gonna answer your questions and give you all the advice you need so you don't make any mistake. And they're quick too, so all pluses. Again, not a plug, just for you should know where I get my stuff. And in the future, I will also talk about if you want to know about knives, if you want to know about corkscrews, if you want to know about anything, you just have to ask. Well, that's it for today. We'll see each other next week on Monday. Bye-bye.